Well, here's a chance to bone up on your sonnets and couplets. A Shakespeare exhibit just took to the stage at the LA Public Library, and Marcos has more. So what do the timeless Shakespeare and former U.S. President Abe Lincoln have in common? Turns out, plenty. It's just one of many fascinating historical tidbits that you'll find at the L.A. Public Library's Shakespeare exhibit. Of course, the infamous John Wilkes Booth, assassin of President Lincoln, was a Shakespearean actor who Lincoln would have seen perform. The Shakespeare exhibit, called America's Shakespeare, The Bard Goes West, helps mark the 400th anniversary of Shakespeare's death. It's a joint effort by the L.A. Public Library and Library Foundation and the Folgers Shakespeare Library, the largest collection of Shakespeare memorabilia in the world. And apparently some of the exhibits even have a little Southern California flavor. One thing that we were really interested to learn is that Hermosa Beach was first called Shakespeare Beach. When the red car trains opened there in 1906, the developers thought it would be a writer's colony, so they named all of the streets after writers. Students, scholars, history and costume buffs, writers, actors, and just plain old bard-loving folks will all find something to like as they revel in both Shakespearean masterpieces and Shakespearean trivia, and maybe brush up on their iambic pentameter. I'm Anna Marcos for L.A. This Week. Well, you can see the Shakespeare exhibit at the L.A. Public Library until February 26th. For more information, visit shakespeare.lfla.org.